get started. So welcome everyone. We're really excited to have you. Welcome back to UChicago Alumni Career Programs um, and welcome specifically to Career Month in 2023. Um, Career Month is a month long focus on series, sessions, workshops, webinars, everything you could need to start your year off right in your career. I know some of you may have spent the past couple of weeks as we celebrated the holidays thinking it's time for a change or some growth, or maybe today you woke up and that alarm clock really jolted something in you and it is time to make a change. Um, so we're excited to join you here. Today's session, um, Josh and I, who make up the UChicago Alumni Career Development Team, are here to share some of our resources um, to start your near, year off right. Um, some conversation about what makes the best career, and we're really excited to get to hear from you and to get started. So I'm going to hand it over to Josh to kick us off. Thank you so much, Natalie. Uh, welcome, everyone. It is a delightfully dreary day in Chicago. Um, perfect to to curl up, cozy in, and uh, also set you know set that intention to really in this new year pursue your your best career. Um, I'm. As, as Natalie shared, uh, I'm on the career development team here. I'm also an alumnus, and it is just my pleasure and duty to help pay it forward to my fellow Maroons uh, with all sorts of lifelong learning opportunities uh, for your own professional and personal growth. Uh, we'll spend this session uh, with a few, few top agenda items. Hold on. Uh, first, uh, first, we will uh, respond together to an interview from a renowned social psychologist at the Chicago Booth of Business. Uh, then, uh, after let's discuss, let's assess, we'll discuss a few career resolutions and anti-resolutions uh, we may be setting for ourselves in the new year. Then, then uh, let's review. We'll share resources that you can find with you Chicago alumni, as well as upcoming events in Career Month. And then finally, let's confer. We'll join breakout rooms and enjoy a virtual space where you can ask your questions to you Chicago alumni staff, i.e. me and Natalie. Uh, I hope I hope everyone appreciated uh, sort of play on office hours, both like the time we're in an office and office hours like the one-on-one -on -one conversations with uh, instructors that I hope you enjoyed as, uh, as students here. Uh, so uh, let's discuss uh, social psychologist uh, at Booth, Ayelet Fischbach, uh, re recently uh, gave an interview with the Financial Times. Uh, and she says here that the treadmill of just being productive, productive, productive gets you into answering emails instead of thinking about your priorities. So step back and think about your goals. What's the best path to get there? How do you fit this with other things that you want to do and who is helping you? So hopefully you all have a sense, at least for the last part, who is helping you? Everyone in this Zoom room is helping you uh, and in some of the other spaces that we'll, that we'll tell you about. Uh, but, but please feel free to, um, to discuss what do you think, what do you think she means by, by this? Um, to what extent does this resonate, not resonate with you? Which parts of it feel within your reach? Which parts of it feel beyond that reach? Please feel free uh, to unmute yourself and share what, what part of this is, is activating your thoughts right now. The treadmill of just being productive, productive, productive gets you into answering emails instead of thinking about your priorities. Step back and think about your goals. What's the best path to get there? How do you fit this with other things that you want to do and who is helping you? I'll jump in a second, Josh, let everyone yeah. gather their thoughts. Um, yeah. I thought this quote was really, really helpful, especially as I'm sure a lot of us came back today to a full inbox and a lot of ideas that we had been <laughs> no kidding. on. And it was, uh, it was kind of hard to back away and think, you know what, not everyone needs an answer right away. I'm sure there are lots of people who also sent those last minute emails, hoping that people would take a week or two when we came back to think about it. So not everyone needs an email right away. Um, but you know, what are my most important things that are happening, what really do I need to respond to, and sort of what were my goals and intentions when I started the month off and the year off, what, uh, you know, 
what are things that I really want to get people together on. Um, you know, who sent me an email about the same thing that I can connect them together so we can work together. So I think being able to look at everything that happened in, in the last year and over our break as, as an opportunity to, to form new ideas and create new connections has been really helpful. Yeah, I really, yeah, I really appreciate that, that Natalie. Uh, and I think it also nicely highlights the ways that we're like similar and different because like the parts that, that I think I like was like focusing on um, just when I was first reading, um, reading the Financial Times piece was actually about like goals and which ones are like concrete or abstract or like conceptual. And then like, what's the best path to get there? I was thinking about like best and thinking like, you know, do I, you know, to what extent might we get over fixated on trying to find the best path so then we don't pursue the path or in what ways can we just think of the best path in terms of what might be say the most practical and most effective way to you know mm -hmm. achieve our our goals and so on so I like that I like that you're thinking of like how can I streamline my process <laughs> and, and I'm like how can I uh, take these uh, straightforward sentences and make them not <laughs> um, but hopefully still illuminating uh let's hope let's open let's open the floor of uh, who wants uh who wants to weigh in on on this on this uh on this passage irene great to see yeah. you again can you hear me yeah I hear you great okay i'm in an admiral's club at the phoenix airport and i really wanted to hop on the call so i apologize for this wonderful um, but your quotation i suppose that we are starting with the assumption that everybody knows what productivity is that mm -hmm. productivity is this given and we confuse productivity with busyness and what is productivity anyway we as americans i think are very obsessed with this idea of accomplishing things and also the fact that goals are also brought up in that idea as in right. there is an end goal and that our careers our lives are a process and it assumes that most of us actually know what they are um and we keep on redefining them um, so I think this is a, a great session and a, a good jumping off place because um, I think most of us are just busy and we don't know why and uh, are, need to reflect. So, yes, that's such a great point um, that 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 productive, productive, productive. I think what's what's great about say like her use of that word three times actually gets us on the it actually helps us contemplate that very phenomenon that you're describing that what are the different meanings of productive when you hear it the first time what are you thinking when you hear it the second time what do you think when you hear it the third time what are you thinking and at that point are you no longer actually attuned to what productivity may be or what may be the point of it uh and instead just being busy you know answering emails and so on like that when um when in fact you know you may need to think about say productivity about goal setting goal achieving um in other in other ways then we may be can like conditioned to think of it as um yeah i really appreciate that uh priya let me just share uh what you shared in the chat um you know that that we can get so caught up in that day to day that we forget our goals and what is important to us. And, you know, fortunately, you have those coworkers and colleagues uh, that you you remind that remind you of that. Um, and that is another way to think about that last part, like who's helping you. Nancy, great to see you again. Um, I wanted to share a quote from Alice Walker that I think I'm going to make my my 2023 uh, statement. Look yes. At the look at the present you are constructing. It should look like the future you are dreaming. Oh, wonderful. So what, um, what inspires you about that quote? Um, because I can get distracted by a lot of things. I mean, the things I want. I've, I, actually, I've taken a sabbatical and I'm doing my own research. I have no problem. I get up in the morning. I know what I'm doing next and next and next. But I can get down, you know, about like, where is this going? Will I make it, et cetera, and negative self-talk. Right. So, I, um, so I, I, I'm thinking of using this phrase as a, 
as a as a sort of banner statement to keep moving to the right. positive side. Yeah, absolutely. That that it can it can function as your sort of load star or north star or yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. Excellent. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, don't worry. We we can uh, we can uh, return return to this idea, and we'll see the different ways that we can apply different parts of it. It's a great interview in Financial Times. I just wanted to share it. Uh, with you. This is also uh, reflective of some of the discussions we have in our Coffee and Conversation series. Uh, when you uh, check out our upcoming events, you'll you'll see some of those coming up. Um, I want to actually, you know, uh, what, what Irene, Priya, and Nancy shared, I think, leads us into, uh, you know, another important conversation to have before we enter our breakout sessions, uh, which is, what are our career resolutions or anti-resolutions? So that's both what, you know, we're intending, but also, you know, intending to achieve, but also maybe intending uh, not to keep doing. Uh, so the question really for, for us, again, uh, feel free to, uh, to put in the chat if you can't uh, unmute or would prefer not to, and also feel free to, you know, uh, raise your hand uh, using the reaction button at the um, in the control panel on your Zoom. Uh, so let's talk first uh, career resolutions. Um, please feel free to share, you know, with with your alumni community here, your your maroon community. Um, what are your visions, ambitions, and goals for the new year? Perhaps both abstractly and or concretely, and then we'll get into anti resolutions. <laughs> Natalie, I'll call on you. What are what are your visions? Well, I've actually been thinking kind of about the anti-resolutions idea. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of in I thought you'd like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of in this phase where I feel like you don't always need to make a new goal, but sometimes reassess your goals and reassess how you're reaching those goals. Um, and I actually think what Priya said earlier about like habits or patterns to break is just like coming in every day and saying, these are like the five tasks I want to do. And um getting them done that I'm, I don't always think like, why am I doing this? What, mm. what is the reason for that? So I think that's a big one. And a, a big one for me is, and Josh knows this about me and any of you that have maybe um, been in any of our sessions before, I'm a big, like, can do or say yes to everything to the point sometimes that I'm like, maybe I should say no to things and then use that energy uh -huh. to, to help complete the things I've said yes to already. So I, um, I'm looking forward to, to using my yeses more judiciously, I guess you should say. Oh, interesting. And you know what? I think, I think, yeah, let's, well, why not? Let's just expand resolutions or anti-resolutions. So both like the, the, um, the visions, ambitions, and goals for the new year. And then also like which habits, patterns, and cycles do you want to break? Which scripts for yourself uh, do you need to stop, need to stop repeating in 2023? Um, so I like that, Natalie. It's, uh, the anti-resolution is perhaps to stop saying yes so much or the resolution to use those yeses more judiciously. Some people, it might be, it might be the converse. Yeah, Nancy, jump on in. Well, I, have, I keep walking around what I can do and what I want to do. And what I want, mm -hmm. I'm going to this year try every means of finding a way. I want to work in monetary policy. And I've talked with um, Anna Paulson, who's great at the bank in sure. Chicago. I can't at this point go to a research department, so I have to look for other ways. So, um, I, damn, I mean, I've, I've, I can't tell you over the years how I've applied to and gotten a couple of interviews at the Federal Reserve Bank. But I just, I, I think I'm, I'm going to give it my all and try it again. My anti-resolution is no more management consultants firms ever, ever, ever. <laughs> it sounds like there's a story behind that. <laughs> and oh, maybe we'll get to dive in um, in the post-recording part. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, exactly. right. They could be specific. They can be broad uh, resolutions and anti-resolutions. Uh, thank you, Nancy. Yeah, Angela, tell us. Uh, sure. 
So actually, I'm very interested on Nancy's part on uh, why are you uh, getting out of the <laughs> management consulting? Because uh, I'm just out of management consulting. Um, so uh, unfortunately, uh, recently I'm uh, I'm impacted on one of the layoffs. So and uh, and uh, I think my career resolution for this new year is to find a decent job, not just random job, as soon as possible, so that I can at least. Uh, Feed myself. Uh, I'm a newly graduated student from last year, so this is uh, the most mm -hmm. important goal for me. And uh, so, any of the alums, if you are looking for, <laughs> for uh, uh, who's uh, very professional or know a lot of knowledge in financial services or banking or risk, and uh, know how to code uh, in Python, SQL, so let let me know <laughs> if if you want. Excellent. And, yeah. Thank you. Keep going. Oh, sure. So um, uh, my uh, my patterns and the cycles I want to break is because currently, you know, the market is very bad and there are so many layoffs. So it's a little frustrating for me to land in a, a decent job. So from time to time, I would feel so frustrated and feel like a doubt about myself and I would lose hope and I, maybe I should give up. Maybe I should just stay for some time. Um, but uh, after a while, I should I I, I should tell tell myself uh, that I need to stand up and uh, keep on fighting again. Uh, so this is uh, something that I, I really want to break. Uh, I, I I sometimes get into this kind of situation from time to time recently. Sure, it's yeah, it's hard to. Um, it's good though that you're recognizing you know a, a bent say toward a sort of. A, maybe a, 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 a self resignation or a defeat, you know, that, that can, yeah, it, it can be, uh, especially since there's so much uh, volatility, that unpredictability can be, yeah, it, that, it, that can, that can be, you know, demoralizing or it can be energizing if it means that it's, you know, time to pivot to something else. Um, and if, you know, have a sense of which skills you may need to learn to get there. Mm -hmm. you know, that's great. Yeah, this I'm 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 glad that you joined us. This is exactly the space for Maroon Say who are in that in that uh in exactly that transitional inflection point. Yeah, yeah. And, and Irene and Arjun have sounded off in the comments as well with a similar sentiment of just um on the job search, not taking the the first one that pops up or the um the one that you're going to have to make compromises for because it can be scary to be on that search and you can feel like the first time someone says yes we'd like you you have to say yes back because you don't know when the next opportunity is going to come but i i find it really helpful and um really important to this idea of not settling and listening to your gut that that a lot of you brought up that um if you take a little bit of time if you're intentional about your search you can find everything that you want and, and feel like you're you know not compromising your your values your goals your you know kind of what uh what was shared earlier that quote that nancy shared about um working every day towards our future so you don't feel like you have to give up on that future just because you have to take an easy yes today right see it's all about you're using your yeses more judiciously she's doing it on small scale large scale um nadine uh i see your hand is raised Hi, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so I have a career resolution to share. Yes, um, yes. I've just moved to the UK, actually, after working in the NGO sector in my home country, Malaysia, which I went back to right after graduating college. Um, so my new year resolution is to find a good job in the UK. <laughs> I'm here yeah. on the HPI uh, visa, the high potential individual visa, which we're all qualified for because our university is on the list. Um, so yeah, that's my goal, find a good job in the UK. I quit my job and moved here because I was tired of an NGO salary. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, find a good job in the UK, preferably in London, where my brother is currently an undergraduate. And ideally, so hope, this is like my reach dream, break into yeah. broadcasting, because I've always harbored a dream of... Um, being on TV, I did history back in New Chicago and always wanted to be like a documentary presenter. So trying Ooh. to figure out how to be pragmatic about that, but also try to move towards that. Thank you. Let me tell you, I, I once had a freelance research job for um, an investigation discovery program on uh, historical 
uh, American crimes and such. Um, <laughs> So yes, I, I Nadine, I, I sympathize with that. Just having a taste of that, um, like educational broadcasting, uh, for sure. Uh, and I also like uh, th again, thank you for sharing that. Sometimes our resolutions that can be both like, you know, idealistic and like practical in terms of like where you need to find employment, um, in what sector, at what salary level, and so on. That those are all. Um, but those are all considerations. Um, yeah, thank you, Nadine, and uh, congratulations on on the move. Uh, let's see, uh, Alba. Hi, everyone. Um, Hi. Okay, so I'm I'm in a similar situation that Angela. I just I just graduated uh, last year from grad school, but congratulations. Thank you. Uh, something that is like like caught my attention pretty much is what uh, Irene said. Mm -hmm. So my situation is I I was like trying to to get this this goal accomplished. Like uh, I'm I'm original from Colombia, so I came to the United States to join one of the first class. Um, universities and I have been working in human rights and public policy so mm. I want I, I, I want to work uh, in international development uh, but for me the graduation in a way was like closing um, a big goal like accomplish that big goal and in a way like a part of my life like I have to learn a different language. I have to go back and and study math and and uh, improve my um, quantitative uh, uh, like knowledge, which mm -hmm. I have like not very much when I arrived to to Chicago. And you can imagine how much I struggle with that. <laughs> but now it's like so difficult, like to. So I know what the type of job that I want, but it's so difficult to get into the market because I was in Colombia working all the time um, in in these human rights uh, issues. And everybody told me uh, in the past, like, oh my God, it's gonna be so great for you. But now I'm here trying to find a job and is one of the most difficult things even I think more difficult than go that like uh, do all the like the study process. Um, one of my my career resolutions is also like how can I, uh, how can I make myself more, like more more visual? Mm -hmm. uh, like how can I make my CV like. People need to know my CV. People need to know what I know. Um, so I was thinking maybe that can be a blog or something like that. Uh, that was one idea. But I, I, I'm also like in my anti-resolutions, there is a pattern that I have like questioning all the time myself. And I really don't know how to like end that pattern. Thank you very much. Yeah, th thank you for sharing. What what I appreciate about your comment was actually the way it was both somewhat like inward looking and outward looking. For instance, you were thinking about does the, the, the interdisciplinary nature of your work so far and where you want to take it in terms of say what you know mathematical or quantitative analysis school skills uh, you're looking to acquire, but then also outwardly facing you know, how can you best, you know, present yourself with, you know, with your best, you know, best foot forward, your best face forward, whatever the phrase is. Um, how can you, you know, in an, you know, another term, how can you craft and promote your personal brand as it were in, in that way, actually yeah. make a better case for yourself, um, you know, with, with prospective uh, employers, colleagues, and, and anyway, for yourself to, to, to be able to tell yourself like, yes, I am knowledgeable. I do have, you know, <laughs> I, I, I do have perspectives uh, that are uh, worth, worthwhile to consider and to share. Um, so I appreciate that, Alba. Thank you. 
Um, Nancy, uh, just a brief, just a brief, a brief, a brief comment to um, for the last speaker. You've had Marty Gilbert on, uh, and he's yes. a job coach and he's on LinkedIn. He does exactly this: tell you how to market yourself, and he's having a free seven webinar on on Thursday. So check him out, Marty Gilbert on LinkedIn. My second brief, I'm sorry, I promised to be brief. My second comment is the person who was saying, I say yes to everything. And another person said, I don't wanna say yes to the first time. It just occurred to me, our yeses should be empowering. Right, empowering, uh, um, absolutely. Not compromises, uh, yeah. Not compromises, not... Um, overly obligatory um, unless they're purposive. It's that, it's that judiciousness that, that, uh, that Natalie uh, told us. Um, also, I swear I didn't even script that, but Nancy, you perfectly set, set me up for the next slide, uh, which is precisely about the different, uh, some of the top resources from the Chicago Alumni Careers Program uh, that can help you pursue those resolutions and anti-resolutions. Uh, so I just want to review all of those uh, briefly. Natalie will drop in a link for each one in the chat so that you can explore more uh, on your own. Uh, but one is the UChicago Alumni Careers newsletter. This is one we send out every other week with resources, events, uh, stories of UChicago um, in different industries. Um, highly recommend. Um, so please uh, feel free to subscribe there. Uh, Natalie dropped a link to that in the chat. Uh, next, uh, connect, you know, this is gonna be very important again, think about who will help you and so on. Connect with your UChicago alumni community. I have found that fellow Maroons are very generous with their time and expertise. Uh, so one place to do that is the University of Chicago alumni LinkedIn group. This is also where you can learn, um, you could also learn about uh, upcoming uh, programs and initiatives and so on for your professional development. So please join uh, the University of Chicago Alumni LinkedIn group. You'll notice it's a closed group. So that way, you know, you're among, you're among friends. It's just for, uh, for those who have attended the college, the graduate schools, and the various professional schools at the University of Chicago. Um, we also have an exclusive platform called UChicago Wiser. And on this platform, you can really search very deliberately and purposively for fellow alumni in different, uh, not only in different industries, but also uh, different class years and by different regions uh, in the in the different regions uh, around the world. And also you can search actually for fellow alumni by help topic. When, when you create a profile, uh, you can indicate, for instance, that you're willing to help alumni with mock interviews, with resume reviews, uh, to get to know a new industry, to get to know a new city uh, if you've recently moved. Um, or relocating and so on and so forth. So you can actually say search for fellow alumni who work in this field, who are willing to help me get to know this new city and even help out with, with mock interviews or to review my resume and so on. Um, it's a, and in that way, it, the, any sort of like a cold, a cold email or cold message is not really so cold because they've already indicated that they are welcoming those sorts of communications. You can send messages and uh, schedule calls right there on the platform. Uh, so that's another good resource. Um, I could just kind of go go around uh, around here. Uh, next, again, I want to highlight those U Chicago alumni career events. We have webinars with industry experts, panel conversations, and networking opportunities for alumni uh, in multidisciplinary fields. We have workshops, uh, do it all, and it's all free. We're delighted to provide that to you. Um, we also have an alumni and friends job board. Through our portal, alumni and friends, uh, you can find uh, you can find various positions across industries that we think will appeal to you. Also, if uh, if you're hiring or if you know someone who's hiring, you can post positions on there and even offer to provide a foot in the door for fellow alumni. So you can go on there 
look up uh, different different types of roles, see uh, who might be a good um, who might be a good alum to reach out to, uh, because they they posted this uh, opening at their you know at the company that they work for. Um, finally, we we also provide a, a nice directory set of career coaches from the U Chicago alumni community. Uh, these are college alumni, graduate school alumni, MBAs from Booth who have a wide range of specialties within career coaching and professional development, uh, be it that like holistic strengths-based coaching, be it executive leadership coaching, whatever your particular needs, you will be able to find uh, a career coach within right within our UChicago alumni community. Um, and you already kind of have that common frame of reference and so on. Uh, so definitely feel free to check that out. And if you are yourself building a coaching business, please reach out to Natalie, reach out to me. We will be uh, happy to, you know, review your work and put it um, and, and, and put it in our, in our coaches directory. Um, then honestly, I want to say like, visit our YouTube channel where we actually have recordings of our various webinars and panels on a wide range of topics, uh, including, say, how to make networking less awkward, <laughs> uh, interviewing for introverts, uh, a number of topics that will be relevant to you. Uh, most of you can watch a panel conversation, for instance, on alumni in the fashion industry um, who take different, uh, different approaches to that topic. Um, that general field that's multidisciplinary. Likewise, you can find, say, even a, a talks from the U Chicago Space Network. Again, multidisciplinary industry, and get to get to know uh, the various professionals in your alumni community. So go ahead and view those, uh, and and let us know. Throughout this month, we are doing career. We're we're doing our signature series, Career Month. Uh, Natalie mentioned that at the beginning of the call. Uh, we are structuring this month around uh, four sequences, just like we did uh, at U Chicago. We have our leadership sequence, we have our tech sequence, we have our creative career sequence, and we have our social impact sequence. Uh, so you'll see this week, for instance, we have two leadership events, uh, one Banish Burnout, another one on leadership lessons from the field of athletics. We're going to kick off our tech sequence by launching a career in aerospace. We are going to kick off our social impact sequence in a very U Chicago way about how anything can be social impact uh, if you use those yeses judiciously. And then we have our creative career sequence. We'll kick off on the 11th with curating your creative careers where you'll uh, have the opportunity to hear from uh, a graphic designer and a typographer uh, about their approaches to putting together a portfolio and pursuing a creative career. And then they'll even review a portfolio in progress if you would like them to. So visit uh, alumni and friends at uchicago.edu and uh, visit our career month page. You'll get to see the full lineup of all of our upcoming virtual programs. Alba, question? Yeah, uh, I was wondering uh, if Vanish for Now, the, uh, the event that Nancy was talking about? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, she was referred to, we did a, a talk recently uh, with, um, uh, with a coach, Marty Gilbert. Uh, Natalie, I know you hosted that event. Yeah, Marty recently came and hosted, um, and it's on our YouTube channel, so definitely check it out there. He hosted a, a topic called Resumes Tell, but cover letters sell. Um, he is a really great resource, and actually, we were just emailing today about him coming back to do some events in the spring, so um, he will be back. He is really great, but I think the event that Nancy was referring to was um, a free event. He hosts his own free webinars outside of working with us here um, on his LinkedIn, and I will share his LinkedIn profile in the chat in just one second, um, but definitely follow him. He is a great friend of the university and a friend of our, our work here and um, gives some of the best advice in the career space as well. It's just very, very helpful and um, really, really actionable resources. So definitely follow him. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so now with that, with, you know, I want to be mindful of your time and so on and make the most of, of, of the rest of the hour. So we will confer in our breakout sessions. Um, ask us, you know, 
ask us your questions about how you can best pursue your career development. Again, if you want to get into the nitty gritty, if you want to talk more conceptually, that's what Natalie and I are here for. We're here for you.